In this demonstration, I want to highlight um, new addition to our automation engine offering and see how it works with the rest of those uh, of the product. Um, before I, I initiate the demo with um, the specific use case I've built uh, for you, uh, I want to show you uh, Doc Intel and what I've configured in Doc Intel to achieve the level of automation that you will be uh, seeing in the demonstration. So what you see on the screen is um, my ServiceNow instance and I'm logged in as an admin and I'm uh, in the Doc Intel UI and I'm in what we call in our terminology a task definition. So Doc Intel is our intelligent document processing solution to extract meaningful information from structured and semi-structured document. Could be getting information uh, like um, total amount on a purchase order document or um, getting personal information from uh, an identi identity document. In my use case, it's, you'll see it's more an HR oriented use case. So I'll be, I'll be extracting data from a, a void check for an employee to, to set up uh, his direct um, payment, a direct deposit uh, with HR with, uh, as, as part of the onboarding process for his uh, organization. So let's open a task definition. So in Doc Intel, the task, as I said, the task definition is where you configure the, um, the key that you want to extract from a specific type of document. In my case, I want to extract document uh, information from, um, from a void check. So let me first show you an example of void check, actually the one that I'm going to be submitting to the platform so we can use that example. So this is a typical uh, void check when you onboard in a company, they ask you for this so they can extract uh, your account information basically. So um, usually the, the check, uh, at least in the US, is start with a routing number and an account number and the check number and he has the, the bank uh, information there and the um, employee information, um, the account holder information. And we don't, from an HR perspective, when we onboard someone, we don't need to capture this, we just need those different uh, fields there that you see on the screen. Um, so that's a document, an example of document that we're going to be uh, using and I've used to train uh, or the model uh, in service now so he knows next time there is um, the void document he knows where to get the information so the only configuration step I had, I had to do was to go in doc intel create the task definition put a name there's a few configuration there and then create those keys and those keys are kind of a placeholder on which the doc intel will put the extracted value once uh, we submit and submit a document to doc intel Doc Intel will try to predict uh, um, where those values should go. But we we have to train the model with two or three uh, examples of document, and then the system is getting a good good score, a good confidence score, um, and good prediction. So it should be able to extract the right uh, routing number and differentiate the bank name versus the routing number or even the account number, and we can correct the system as we publish uh, upload more uh, more document. So I created those four keys and that's what I'm going to be using in my demo to extract information from the document. Let's go in task and I want to show you um, a document that I submitted in DocIntel and you'll see I'm going to click on, those, on this button and this is uh, how you could review the data extraction that uh, has been performed by DocIntel. So you can actually display in document intelligence the, the void check there and you can review uh, each of the fields. So here I can uh, verify as an agent, okay, uh, is that information that the machine has extracted correct? So is suggesting value based on the OCR that have been performed as well, the first step when we process a document is to um, use some OCR algorithms. And also then applying some algorithm, machine learning algori algorithm to predict where the value um, is on the document. So the prediction is pretty good there because I've been submitting a lot of uh, similar uh, documents and applied correction. So is 100% sure that the information extracted is correct. So I'm validating as an agent the, that the extraction is correct. But this accelerates the time to process document. Imagine a long form like five uh, PDF with five pages and a lot of information you need to extract here. The system points you to where the information is and already put this in, in keys that you can use 
uh, in the next step in your workflow on the platform. So here yeah, it's all pretty good. I'm just going to submit. And uh, now the values are available for to use in, in a workflow. So this is to show you how you can train the model and do some kind of manual validation for the data extraction. Now I want to show you a demonstration where Doc Intel is doing the straight through processing, which means we, we kind of bypass this step. We trust that we've trained the model uh, enough that um, the prediction are going to be good and we can configure the confidence, you know, the th threshold of based on the, um, the confidence score for the prediction. If we want to trust or not the data extracted by Doc Intel, we can move, uh, go ahead with the automation or we can ra raise the flag and let's say um, assign a task in service now for someone to go in Doc Intel and, and validate uh, the data extraction. But in my use case, I want to fully automate um, the process. So let's uh, review this. My demonstration um, is um, for a specific HR onboarding use case. So when an employee uh, typically joins a company, uh, is asked to uh, provide a bunch of uh, information and oftentimes he has to upload uh, some document in the system. And for that particular fictitious customer, this uh, customer is using HR onboarding to manage the, the whole end-to-end -end workflow uh, for the new hire onboarding. So you can see that we have a service HR, a new hire onboarding, and we are using that um, parent case to track all the activities uh, that concern the onboarding of Lincoln Gracie. And if I, if I scroll down, you can see a bunch of tasks and this is how the HR operation team uh, is managing the onboarding of those employees and can add a specific tasks for those employees. So the employee will get a notification on the mobile phone or email and can simply, in my example, click on a link and upload the document. And, and, and then the HR team can then review the document, extract the information and put those information in another HR system, maybe in the employee profile in Workday. Um, in, so that's kind of uh, what, what we want to automate using ServiceNow. So I will be creating a new task and assigning this uh, a new task for uh, Lincoln so she knows she has to uh, upload a, a check. So as an HR person, I can add a, a task there and this could be uh, automated completely. I'm going to select uh, the templates, uh, set up direct deposit, uh, the name of the service, everything looks good and I'm assigning this to Lincoln uh, Gracie. So when I do this and submit, now Lincoln uh, is going to, um, I'm going to close that, um, that view, Lincoln is going to uh, some has to submit the document and from there uh, I have a, created a workflow that's going to take that document, su submit the document to Doc Intel, extract the information from Doc Intel, take the routing number from the check and actually using Integration Hub to go and check on a specific uh, routing API to check that the routing number corresponds to the bank information we see on that check just to very as an extra uh, verification to to verify that the information given to the hr team is correct and, and then if upon upon validation of that routing number we are going to be creating a new record in service now a banking record in service now in a specific table so i'm opening the table so you can see it this is a bank account with it's part of hr and the hr product and um, this is where we store the banking information of the employee in, in ServiceNow so we can automate the, um, the setup of a direct deposit. So those, those information that you see on that screen, that information that we want to extract from the void check and have my workflow um, populate those, um, those new records with those, uh, those information. So let's go ahead and pretend I'm a link on and submitting my uh, void check and we'll see the process uh, end to end. So, I'm not going to go on a mobile phone or email, I'm just going to open the task and pretend I'm Lincoln and I'm just going to upload the document. So I'm just verifying I'm walking out of the right ticket. Um, so that uh, you set up your direct deposit task and I can simply simply uh, upload the document there. So I'm going to put my void check that I have here. All right. So I just do this, and in addition to that, I'm going to change the status, say it's work in progress, 
and click on update. Why I'm doing this? Because I've configured a workflow and that says if I have a new t task, HR task record in ServiceNow that has a short description set of direct deposit and is work in progress, my workflow is trying to see if there is a document to process. And if there is a document, it's going to submit this to, uh, still on the platform, submit this to DocIntel to extract information from the check. So at this point, if I go back to another UI and I click on, I go in my machine learning solution, this is a backend. This is, the end user never have to see this. This is to see if the document has been sent for processing. So I'm checking, I'm checking the clock. It's, uh, it's, it's the time I'm recording the, the, the video. So it means the machine is uh, doing something. So ServiceNow is sending this, the instance is sending the document to, um, to a, our machine learning engine for, to process and extract the data. And because I've configured my task definition in DocIntel to allow the straight through processing, I'm not even going to require a, a human to validate the, the, the data extracted. I'm going to leverage that data automatically in the rest of my workflow. So let me refresh this. So now it's completed. So what's, what's happening, we can see behind the scene, I'm showing you the behind the scene. The document has been sent to DocIntel, DocIntel has extracted the value and my workflow must be uh, finished at this point. So I'm going there in Flow Designer. I look at the workflow, I can see the workflow has been run, running and I can kind of see how I've built uh, the workflow in Flow Designer. So here you see different tasks. So when the workflow has been triggered, by me uploading a document in that HR task. This has, has triggered that specific step, creating a task in DocIntel, processing the document, waiting for the status of the, this document to be processed. I'm extracting the data. But what's interesting here, I'm doing a bank uh, data lookup, and this is actually an, um, an integration hub, Spock data created to validate uh, using a specific web API to validate that the routing number um, that we have extracted from DocIntel is correct. And as you can see, we're extracting data from, from the check. We haven't done anything. The machine learning has, has been able to extract the data. So if I look there and look up record, you can see, I'm, I'm not going, going to go in too much into the detail, but we, we've extracted the, the, the information from DocIntel and I'm leveraging that information once it's validated via um, the API call that I'm making with Integration Hub. I'm actually creating the bank account for Lincoln and I can see it now, it's created there. So all those information comes directly from the check, from the void check. But before we actually created that record in ServiceNow, we have verified using an API and that the information that we read on the check are correct. At least that the bank name exists and the routing number exists and match with the bank name. So uh, if there is any typo or anything wrong with the machine learning, uh, I've extracted some wrong information. We can raise some flag using the, um, the workflow. So what, um, what I've just demonstrated to you is a, an end-to-end -end, uh, process uh, from, from a request in ServiceNow to perform a task and the employee upload a document uh, so the HR team can use the void check, the, the bank information from the void check to, to set up the direct deposit. We've seen how using the other capability of automation engine integration hub, how we can create a Spock, maybe to query a REST API. So if I go deep in, into the detail, you can see the actual uh, API I'm using there, the routing number .info, and I'm passing information that I got from DocIntel, passing this to uh, this API and making decision um, whether or not I want to continue and create the banking, uh, banking record in ServiceNow based on the result of that API. And you can see my logic uh, using Flow Designer, um, I can, uh, it's simple if then do that and, and if I'm happy with my logic there I move, move forward and create the record in service now and the record in service now is the banking uh, information there. We could continue and go ahead and uh, use the Spock for a work day and synchronize the data that we extracted to the, a third party cloud provider like Workday or any other system. So that was the end -to -end, um, an end-to-end -end example on how you can uh, from an HR product, for example, leverage a workflow engine, automation engine, and our um, document intelligent capability as well as integration hub. Uh, I hope that's uh, useful, and if you have any question, please contact me at quentin.carton at service now. Thank you.